Today on Running to Him. Being truthful to others means being true to ourselves. Conversely, by deceiving others, we deceive ourselves. Today we will read Deuteronomy chapters 24 through 27 and concentrate on chapter 27, verses 16 through 19. Deuteronomy 27, 16 through 19 says, Cursed is he who dishonors his father and mother, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who moves his neighbor's boundary mark, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who misleads a blind person on the road, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who distorts the justice to an alien, an orphan, and a window, and all the people shall say, Amen. Now, in this section of Deuteronomy, we find the curses of Mount Ebal in chapter 27, and tomorrow we'll look at the blessings of Mount Gerizim in chapter 28. We are coming to the end of the book of Deuteronomy, and Moses is now begins to tell the Israelites what will occur if they do not follow God's law, and what will occur if they do follow God's law. Half of the tribes of Israel were to stand on Mount Gerizim, and the other half were to stand on Mount Ebal. The curses of Mount Ebal were to be read first, and there's a good reason for that. The Israelites had proven themselves to be a, a wayward people, and they constantly rebelled through the exodus of Egypt to their entrance into the Promised Land. Even Moses fell into this temptation. The section I've chosen to talk about today concerns the temptation of deception. We easily fall into the trap of deceiving people. We tell little white lies to make people feel better or attempt to get out of doing something. We think that our white lies don't hurt our relationship with God or the relationship with others around us. But unfortunately, we are deceiving ourselves in that belief. Irenaeus comments on verse 18, applying it to the apostles when they went out and told the people about Christ. He states that not telling someone about Christ is equally as bad as telling a blind person to keep on walking, knowing that their action would cause that blind person to go over a cliff. He writes, this, that is the behavior of the Gnostics, is not the behavior of those who heal and give life, but rather those who aggravate the disease and increase ignorance. The law shows itself much truer than such people when it says that whoever leads a blind man astray from the way is accursed. The apostles were sent to find those who were lost and to bring sight to those who did not see and healing to the sick. They did not speak to them in accordance with their previous opinions, but by a revelation of the truth. For no one would be acting rightly if one told the blind, who were already beginning to fall over the precipice, to continue in their dangerous way as if it were a sound one, and they would come through it all right. That's against Heresies 3.5.2.1. We must be careful with what we say and how we say it. We must always be truthful about people's action and what the consequences are. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at Phineas Jacobus at runningtohim.net.